Hello, welcome to my channel. Just gonna be making a video. Show you how the garden is doing today. Just watered the plants. So let's take a little tour. It's a short tour. Show you my garden. Everything is doing. My Vitex tree is growing so tall. My lantern I love the yellow. My rose is also growing. See it? Trying to train it. On the other side, I had a rose there, but it died. So, whatever, something there. Right? Sun is trying to come out. Well, that's my spot, right? I was putting some iron tone in the salve here because I My husband finished the mirror. He hung it up. See the phrase? Me. Got a fence board. Sand it down. It's really good. I love it. Everything's looking good. Shining so bright. Not gonna be doing too much talking because I gotta take my mom out for a minute. My pear tree. Full of pears, but they're not ready yet. It had so much rain. Everything is looking lush, including the grass. I planted my azalea. I got planted one here and one over here. I have two more on the other side. The garden back there. Growing my five dollar hydrangea growing. This little area is really nice. I love that. grass is growing as well. Really nice. I just love this area. It's good. I 
have to tap all the roses on the trellis yesterday because they're growing so fast. See, this one is already to the top. Let's see. I wish I had one like that growing around the trellis. You know, that's an idea. I need to see if I find one to put on the other side. But this one is red. The one I have on the trellis is pink. One side red, one side pink. This could work. <laughs> Me and my kids is drop. The top gun rolls in this last like the Hudson is doing it nice. Pink geranium. My red geranium. Everything is looking lovely. I got them on Clarence when my friend Laura saw them on Clarence. Call me Rosa, do you want it? Yes, I do. So, we were shopping one day. I got the pink one at Walmart. This is like $7.99. And she got the white one. Can't remember where, but she brought it home to me. To have four sets of eyes out there. And she's the other set of eyes that I need when I'm home and she's out. She looks out for me. And bring me my plants. Trouble. Always looking out. So beautiful, right? I want it to trail on the fence, but it's not making no, no moves yet. My Dahlia. My Dahlia, people. This one is not open yet. It's the yellow, I think. My tree hydrangea. Not a beautiful picture. Snap a picture. Snap a picture. Beautiful. Issues with see how yellow it is. I don't know. Looks like it has some. I was reading up some black box. See it? But it's still performing though. But I'm gonna get some neem oil to put on there. I was reading. I went thrifting yesterday and I got some books. So I'm going to be studying up on my plants. I got two books yesterday. A basket. Inspiration of Linda Vara. I love this woman. I need to get her new baskets. 
Check them on QVC, what I missed today. But I'm going to get them. Because I love her, you got to support, right? This is the other two azaleas. One right here. The other one right here. I got to plant them. I think I will plant them in this green bucket right here. I would like to plant them in the ground, but Scruffy likes to pee everywhere, and I don't want him peeing on my plant. Or I can remove the green part in there and plant the azalea in the spot where it is. Oh yes, that's what I'll do. And put the pots on the outside and plant the azaleas in the ground right there. Yeah, I'll do that. My new tree. As you can see, I removed the top, the um, firefighter rose from here because I got this new tree. It's a weeping peach tree. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend the bed out make a semi-circle around it and include that in the flower bed so you'll have a little circle around the tree going back to adjoin the flower bed but I'll do that in time because I need to get some more bricks so that's the plan so we'll come out make a half circle around the tree and go back in and all that will be included. Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, the mind is working, the mind is working. When I put the brick around it, I can put the azaleas on the two corners of where I'm going to start the brick coming out. So right where they are right now, I will plant them right there and put the, put the, um, so this one got to come out a little bit more. This. So I put it right here. The mind is working, the mind is working, people. Right. And put the brick behind it. One of them is too close. Yeah, like that. And put the brick behind it and make start the circle from there. And bring it out yeah so that's what I'm gonna do yeah so I really don't have spots in the bed so I bring the circle like right there I'll let that be a marker and bring it out my whipping reel tree I can see it from the kitchen window I have a little snowball in there as well I need to rem I have to move it it's right behind the frog because I wanted that to be the focal point when you enter in the backyard and you look. I wanted that snowball to be the focal point when you enter. But I found this whipping pit tree and already have a snowball on the other side. So I'm like, I have a snowball already. So let me make the whipping pit tree be the focal point. Because as soon as you enter, your eyes is directly on it. So. I move the snowball. I put it somewhere else in the garden. I found another, another um, viburnum tree. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Lord, I don't know. And this is the side of the garden. I think it's not perfect, but nothing is staged today. Just a quick video. I had to turn, I had to clean the bird bath, clean it, scrub it, turn it around because this one don't have a hole and it's, the water is staying in there and it's getting green and it's, just turn it around and put a plant on it. It looks good, it looks like a mushroom, don't it? And I got some little mushrooms I've been having, I just stick it in the flower bed. Limelight. Right. Lime 
see there's none under there. And so it has recovered so well. And I have another crawling rose. This one is not a creeping rose, you know. But look at the, the cane that it's making. Maybe I should put that one over there by the You know what? I should put it by the trellis. Yes, I should. It's right. Instead of going to buy another one, that's what I'll do. Mine is thinking. My Japanese maple. It's a blood good. Japanese maple. Look at that. Look at that. See the weeping willow tree? The weeping peach tree. I'm talking willow tree. Where did I get that from? And my rose people. Oh my god. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. Yes. Ooh, I found it at Lowe's. $16.99. A little pricey, but I love it. Most of my plants, you know, I wait for when it's off season. And get all of my plants on Clarence. Most of what you see out here are Clarence plants. Five, six dollar plants. Yeah. All my roses in the back, eleven dollars. Right now, you go to Lowe's, they're thirty nine ninety nine. But if you wait when they, you know, off season, I was planting stuff in October, November. I'm like, I get it on sale, I'm gonna buy it and put it in the ground. Wanna enjoy it this year, but I will next year. And that's what I did. You guys remember when I wrote, wrote to the house or oh, Facebook maybe there. And I found them at Lowe's, post a picture on Facebook. My finds, yes. I knew I wouldn't enjoy it that year, but I knew this year I would. They were $11. The big ones in the back, in the box that my husband made for me, $11. For $39.99 right now. This, um, this Top Gun Rose, It was on sale as well. I just got it because as you can see it having a few problems, right? And you know they put it on the Clarence stuff. It did not have a price on it. I tell the guy I don't have a price on it, but I want it. It's on Clarence. I want it. You know, the original price was like forty something dollars. I'm like and I'm not paying that either. It's where the Clarence is and that's what I'm gonna pay. You knock it down to like 75% off. And I got my rose home. It's not doing too good. But eventually next year, it will do better. I'm going to take care of it. I'll be there, mommy. She ready to go on her outing. People. With all the rain. You know, lavender don't like too much water. They don't like wet feet. So, so here's the other viburnum that I got. I could not resist. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. But I found this one. $12.99. My friend gave me this insulin plant. It was one stem. One stem with no roots. She tell me, Ruth, are you sure? That will grow. I say, yes, it will. I took it. I took some of the dirt that it was growing in and 
took it home. I was helping her with her flower bed and stuff. After we finished, she gave me this. And I took some of the dirt and I came home that night. And I planted it. What is it? A couple months? Look at her. Look at her. It's an insulin plant. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And that's it, people. The sun is coming out. The sun is coming out. Here is the firefighter rose. That's where I put her. Trouble. be more shade she eventually grow up she will block my little potting area that's the plan we shall see my hydrangea and my azaleas and my firefighter rose I got this little rose at Walmart as well. It's growing, you see it down there. Down here get a lot of water, so I left her in her pot. I cut the bottom out, and I left her in her pot. And she wasn't doing too good, because every time I clean up the water, you know. But now, she's picking up. She's doing good. She's tall. Not doing as good as her brother or her whatever it is. I got two of them. They were three dollars a piece. The other one I got. Let me see. It's right here. It's a climbing rose as well. See it? It's doing good. And my blue muffin. Five burner. Five dollars at Lowe's. Sauce of tree. Alright. And my side garden. I think it's looking lovely. It's not gonna take too long because I already take too long and my mom is waiting on me. My flowing pear tree. Japanese maple, blood good, Japanese maple, and my They got me. Got a silly plant. That Laura here, she's my plant lady, you know. She called me and tell me, Rosa! They got your plant over here. Come get her. Found that raw 
off and this is one of my Eugenia temporaries it wasn't doing too good so I brought it to the front and she's pulling out you see back here and when I got them they were all no leaves and stuff but I've been rehabbing it and she's coming back found this beautiful girl that's the first one I got I call her I say Laura oh my god and then we found some more and I have the black one I found I couldn't find another black one because I wanted to put this black one right here and another one right here but I couldn't find another one so I have two brown ones and they're in the back But I do that in the early spring and look how big they got me. See that? So I'm gonna have these hydrangeas in the front flower bed. They're gonna get huge. I don't know what's gonna happen to these little box boots and stuff. Might have to move a few things. I love this one as well. That's how that looks. Walking back. Look at my gara. They are so magical. I want the pink ones. I'm on the hunt for the pink ones. I saw the pink ones on um what's her name? Laura from Gardeners. Oh my god, I cannot remember the name of her page. But she have the pink ones in the circle by her flower bed. Oh my god, it's magical. So I want to. She was the inspiration of me getting this girl. I know her name is Laura. She had the most 
wonderful garden in the world. It's huge, too big for me, I can't. I don't know how she's handling all of this. I swear to God, I don't know how she's handling it. But she's handling it pretty well. Here's the hydrangeas that I took cuttings from and propagated in the front. This one. And this one. Take a picture, take a picture. Get into it, people. Get into it. See that? And I knock out roses. I just deadhead, deadhead them this morning. They'll be back with another set of blooms pretty soon. My cool flower. Beautiful, huh? And crepe myrtles. I got three of them over here. Can't wait to see what this baby looks like. This is one of the hydrangeas from the side as well. I took a cutting and just stick it in there. My oak roll. Look at what the slugs are doing to my oak roll. Yeah, dangerous. The name of that um, Daisy. You're I think I have one back here. Google the picture of it, it looks beautiful. We haven't made any flowers here yet. Alright, I think I took up a lot of time doing this so called short video I say I was going to do. My mom is waiting on me. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Did not do underneath the patio today. Time will not allow me to. But I will see you guys next time.